It's about at the end of our journey now. We've been on the road for 14 days on a pilgrimage to honor the great Buddhist saint Wan Yo, whose cave you can see behind us. Um, this is the cave that he took shelter in one night about 1,300 years ago as he traveled from Gyeongju to a place near Pyeongtaek in an attempt to reach China. It was in this cave behind us that he, during the night when he was sheltering from the storm, he searched around on the ground for something to drink and he found a vessel and lifted it to his lips and drank deeply of it and he was refreshed and he went to sleep. And in the morning he found out that it wasn't uh, a vessel or a gourd that he had drank from, it was a human skull and that skull was filled with dirty rainwater and rotting meat and maggots and he was so revolted by what he had done that he fell on his knees and vomited and the question came to his mind, why? Why? Why was the water so fresh and sweet and refreshing during the night and so revolting during the day? And the answer came to him that it was the mind, that truth exists in the mind. And when he realized that, he reached a state of enlightenment and his life was transformed and he never did go to China because he realized that the inner journey is more important than the physical outer journey. And when we set off on this journey 14 days ago, that is something that we took into account, that we wanted to use this 14 days traveling to Wan Hyo's cave as a means of facilitating the inner journey, of looking inside and seeking self-understanding. And I hope that uh, we have accomplished something like that on the trip. You know, the, the, the pilgrimage was inspired by the kindness that the Koreans uh, showed us and when we were here working. And we decided to do something to honor uh, them. And uh, we thought that uh, a pilgrimage to celebrate the enlightenment of Wan Hyo was a wonderful way to show our appreciation. But what happened during this pilgrimage, during this trip, is that we were shown again so much kindness and goodwill by Koreans that we feel, I feel, inspired again. That uh, this was a very worthwhile way of uh, saying thank you. When I think back on our first night, when we got lost and we were caught out in the dark without lodgings and shelter. And um, Sangmin, in, Sangmin Sunam managed to uh, talk to a monk who lived in a small temple near Uasa and he persuaded him uh, to give us lodgings during the night. And uh, the monk cooked us a uh, fantastic dinner and a breakfast. He was very kind to us and when I thanked him in the morning he uh, returned my thanks and said thank you for giving me the opportunity to show loving kindness. But almost every day we were shown acts of kindness, small acts and big acts. When we stayed at a uh, min back, the lady loaded us up with uh, food and um, snacks for the journey. Um, uh, several abbots have given us um, donations and uh, we, every time we stayed in a temple we, we really had to pay, perhaps never had to pay. So people were very supportive of our, our pilgrimage and uh, uh, perhaps this is just the beginning. Perhaps we'll have a one-year pilgrimage uh, every year. But you remember the story that I just told you in which Wan Hyo uh, raised the uh, vessel to his lips and drank and through that action he became enlightened. So as we uh, 
partake of this uh, water in these vessels, this sweet water and this healthy water from a, a nearby spring, let us remember that uh, Wan Yu, by this action, achieved enlightenment, and let us uh, hope that one day we also will achieve enlightenment.